Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to be doing another get ready with me makeup. Pico, it's okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I do have quite a few blemishes to deal with. Um, I, you know, time of the month, hormones. <laughs> so I'm gonna work to cover those as best as possible. So I'm using the Catrice True Skin uh, Foundation and a sponge because I feel if I just use my hands or if I use a brush, um, a lot of the texture from the, um, from the breakout uh, will be accentuated because it kind of, you know, you're moving the skin around a bit and you really, you know, this is going to pack it in and layer it up and hopefully cover a lot. Uh, and then I don't have to do much with my concealer. This is a medium coverage foundation. Um, it blends really well. Uh, a lot of people have talked about this uh, Catrice True Skin Foundation. It's really great. I also like um, the uh, L'Oreal uh, foundations. Their True Match uh, foundations are really great. And again, you know, it's nice that uh, more color shades are coming out with a lot of these drugstore foundations. And also, um, the reasons why I like these is that they just blend out very seamlessly. They kind of soak into the skin. Um, if you're looking for a higher coverage foundation, these are not really it for you. Um, but they can, they can be layered a little bit. Um, I usually, when I pick my foundation shade, um, I kind of pick it a little you know, sometimes a little lighter than my natural skin, and that's because I use uh, a lot of bronzers and whatnot, and I use those to kind of color correct. Um, you know, a lot of people might disagree. <laughs> um, I never can find the just right shade. So um, if in doubt, just get a little bit lighter, and you can fix it uh, with, uh, with bronzer. Um, LA Girl has a really interesting product. So they have a liquid foundation and then they have drops that will allow you to uh, either increase uh, different properties. So make it a little more warm, a little more neutral, a little more cool toned, uh, lighter or darker. And that way, um, you know, if, if you, if your skin kind of changes a lot, especially with the sun, uh, that could be a good product for for you. Although, you know, once seasons change over, I typically uh, throw out my foundations and everything. So my summer makeup is very different than my winter makeup. Um, I'll explain that as I throw on a little bit of concealer. So as you can see, some of the uh, patches are coming through, but I'm also worried about packing on too much foundation in those areas because that will also just highlight those areas. So once you get it to, you know, about there where, you know, it's covering the redness and that's really what you want from a foundation, then you can move on and use a concealer. Uh, and I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. Um, yeah, so in the summer, I look for, um, you know, uh, products that have an SPF that uh, are a little bit darker, of course, because I, I do tan very easily. And then also uh, products that are, are really uh, waterproof because you never know when you're gonna wanna take a dip in the pool and you don't want all of your hard work to wash away. In the winter time, I look for more moisturizing products. So I really liked the, uh, I really like the Lumi uh, line from L'Oreal that is very luminous makeup and uh, very uh, moisturizing to the skin. So now that pretty much covered it up. 
So now we're going to put some powder on it. And uh, so now all of the pigmentation from the blemishes is gone. And so as soon as I put powder on top, that really is going to, to blend out seamlessly with the rest of my skin. Um, you know, a lot of people, the so one issue that a lot of people might struggle with is, you know, covering blemishes and then doing too much to them. So if you finagle too much, it's just going to accentuate that area on your skin. Um, and so it's just better to apply things lightly in very light layers, uh, pressing it in rather than, you know, rubbing it in. And that... And you can also build up some of your coverage by using not just a translucent setting powder, but actually a, a powder foundation that can also uh, be another tool for you to build up coverage if you really want uh, to really strongly uh, eliminate the look of those blemishes. And as you can see, I'm also just stamping it in, not rubbing because of course, then those dry little scabby areas are going to pick up the powder. So now you can see, I mean, you can vaguely tell that it's there. Um, but for the most part, I mean, unless you're really up close, you're really not going to see it. So it's, it's uh, uh, really nicely concealed. So let's move on. And I'm going to move on to my bronzer. And it's a match bronzer. It's What's Up Bitches from Beaches from uh, Elizabeth Moth. I got this on Amazon, and I really like contouring with it. Now, when you're contouring with blemishes, you need to have kind of a very light hand. Again, you don't want that powder to be picking up on areas that are, you know, not flattering to your skin. And so now let's. Let's blend out, especially by the hairline. Um, and you can kind of see that now I'm starting to really color correct that foundation because it was just slightly bit too light. So now that looks a lot more blended. Uh, there we go contour my nose just because I want to and I'm using this elf brush and it's okay if you get really in there because we're gonna fix it it's not gonna look this crazy I promise you <laughs> I'll blend it out a little with this you can even use your fingers to blend a little bit and that looks pretty good. What I am going to do, though, is just fix up the sides to make it a little, my nose appear more narrow. Do one around the top. I've seen that fork video where you can put a fork on your nose, and that's really un unnecessary. And I mean, unless you really have a hard time drawing a straight line, um, I mean, my nose is slightly crooked. Other people's noses are slightly crooked. Um, but it, I mean, that's, I guess, good to kind of get you, get an idea of how to do the makeup, but the hacks are really not that necessary. There we go. So see, that looks much better. Um, and my face now has a little definition in the darker areas. But again, these patches are not grabbing onto product because I'm being very light handed with it. Now I'm going to choose a blush. Oops. Of course, I can't do my makeup without dropping stuff all over the floor. <laughs> um, I am going to choose this blush that is matte. It's the Paradise, oh my gosh, look at this thing. Paradise Enchanted. It's this lovely peach color. Um, I do have the, a, a flower one that is kind of uh, similar, a little bit more rose colored than peach. Um, but this one has a lot of shimmer. So because of the blemishes. I'm going to do a more matte look and I'm going to stay above the blemishes. So 
my blemishes were down here so I put the blush up above because your blemishes are going to be red and you don't want to add to that redness um, so you really want to try to avoid putting blush right on top of that area otherwise you know it, it it's going to kind of accentuate again that redness that you just tried to conceal um, and so that's pretty much it for completing the skin look uh, skin part to this look um, you know I could have uh, concealed a little bit more in the under eyes but that's not really all that necessary so now I'm just really going to be very simple with this Although I say simple and then I never, then I always change my mind. But I'm going to try to keep it simple and just do a little quick, um, a quick little smoky eye. So again, you can see how that causes some depth. This looks a little droopy, and that's because I don't have much product right on this fold. So this is called your hood, and I need a little bit up here just to make my eyes look le less droopy. So you can see, let me see if I can do it. Might need a different brush. But you can see that that really helps to lift that up a, a little bit um, and open it up. So I like to do a little on the hood just to open up my eye a little bit. I'm going to change brushes. Packs it all in. There, so that's a very quick uh, smoky eye. I took it up onto the hood of my eye um, above the crease because it kind of opens the eyes up, and with the pale lid that looks. Uh, that looks nice. So I'm just going to line and, um, hmm. yeah, no, I'm going to do this one. So I hope you've all been safe and well, of course. Um, Carla, my friend, came to visit and organized my house so it feels like a brand new home and it's just fantastic. I love having everything organized and easy to access. Give myself a little pop of color. I always have problems with one eye. It's because I just, I'm not ambidextrous. I wish I was. That would make makeup so e much easier. I wonder how many makeup artists are ambidextrous. because I could see that skill being very helpful. But anyway, I'm happy with that. I could do like a wing or something, but let's, you know, keep it a little simple for today. Now, how am I going to do the rest of my face? Hmm. I think I'm going to do a very simple brow and then, um, not sure about lips. You know me, 
might be a surprise. We'll see. <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybe I will throw on some mascara. Because I never wear it. But this look will really, that makes it look a little bit better. Otherwise I look like I don't have eyelashes because they're so light. What I like to do is do a coat on the whole lash and then go back and just hit those ends. And it keeps that mascara from clumping up when you're adding multiple layers. Is if you just get the ends and it just lengthens them really nicely. All right, so now eyebrows. I think I'm just going to do, where did I put it, just right here, Yeah, so you can see the difference, like it fills it in, um, but in a very natural way. I'm using the uh, NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, but basically any of this, um, these brow tints will do the same thing. So they kind of fill. Um, I would say you can use this product if you have quite a bit of natural brow. Um, I do not recommend this product if you have very sparse brows because it's not really going to have hairs to stick to, um, and so you'll you'll actually have better control and a better finish if you use like a brow pencil to really fill in those areas. This is really for if you already have uh, brows like me. Um, next, what are we going to do? Let's do this. Oh my gosh, let me show you my, this is like 90 per, 95% lip stuff. So, let me see, what do I want to do? Do I want to just do a pink lip? Maybe we'll just do a pink lip. That's a good start. Y'all know I like to amp it up.
There we go. And the blemishes are not that noticeable anymore. So A plus, yay. Well, I hope that you don't have to struggle with skin issues, but if you do, I hope this was helpful. Um, good luck. Uh, take care of your skin, drink lots of water, uh, make sure to use moisturizer and SPF and all of that. Retinol can also help, uh, glycolic acid can help uh, uh, chemically exfoliate. Um, for me, I have more dehydrated skin, uh, so it's oily but dehydrated. And so uh, the best thing for my skin is to add moisture but it being oil free. So I really have to watch out for any oil based products. But I really try to keep up with moisturizing. Um, I've been using a lot of retinol products. Uh, I've been using the Ordinary uh, Skin Peel which is a little scary. Uh, but I've been using that about once a week and have been getting very great results with it. Um, um, no problems. I just, you know, get blemishes during this time of the month, but you know, at least, at least I can cover them up pretty well. So I hope you have a great day and I hope you are, again, I hope you're safe and well wherever you are. We're in this together and uh, the good news for me is I am feeling less pain um, and greater mobility. I'm still working on my back. I have tons of knots, <laughs> um, but I will keep it up. Oh, I also have this other product that I've been using. It is uh, the Hero Rescue Balm and you put it on like any freshly popped or picked skin and it can it has uh, really good products in it uh, to really help to uh, clean uh, to, to make that heal much more quickly it isn't I don't think antibiotic or anything an antibiotic ointment uh, but it has pentanol beta glucan and oligopeptides to really help to improve the skin uh, and and get that uh, healed up so I've been using this on my blemishes because I'm a skin picker um, but uh, I found it very helpful so I wanted to share so anyway take care and I'll talk to you next time bye bye